Hi, I'm Tim Timmons, and I teach saxophone and clarinet at REW Music. The best thing about teaching music for me personally is getting to know the student and the student's family, um, what kind of activities they're interested in, what kind of sports does the student play, are they interested in theater, what kind of music do they want to play. And um, that for me is one of the most rewarding parts. And then of course there comes a point in a student's development uh, when they get along uh, far enough in their studies and they've learned the notes and rhythms that they actually start to make music. And that to me is a really rewarding time to see that student actually turn the notes on the page into music that people can relate to. Well, I try to make lessons fun by bringing all kinds of music and styles and tunes that the student may have heard on television, uh, a movie theme that they enjoy playing. So I always try to incorporate something that will make them grow musically and technically, but I also try to find out what it is that they really like and make sure I incorporate that into each lesson. This year the state music is the Mozart Concerto, which is a very famous uh, work for clarinet. It's probably the most famous, and there are many recordings you can go to to listen to this on the internet, YouTube, and I would suggest that you do that. And as you listen, you will find that the interpretation of things is very different than what you might play in marching band, for instance, or even in some solo pieces of the more modern nature. For instance, on the very first line of the Mozart Concerto, you will find several accents and several swells and decrescendos, but these are more subtle as are the dynamics. The fortes aren't quite as great, the pianos may not be quite as soft, but uh, be careful with the accents especially. Uh, listen to the good players do it. You'll find that it's more of a, almost a swell. It's done more with the breath and uh, it's what we call expressive accents. And that's what a term that a lot of people actually use to describe music from this period, expressive accents. And I think that really helps me to understand what's going on. So instead of an accent, it's almost a, a breath impulse sort of thing. So be careful that you do that. Don't use too much tongue, but um, the breath will be very important. Again, in this you have some trills, be very careful with those. The option in these is usually to start the trill on the note above, which is typical of rote classical music. Um, it can vary sometimes depending upon which note you start on before the trill. Uh, but if you do that, and uh, you'll be very much in style. Remember, again, that there's no staccato notes uh, in this period. Everything has been added by the arranger. So uh, if there, you find staccato notes, uh, they're not too short again. It's more of a detaché style, which was common in that period. So be careful of accents and make them period correct. Be care of this, uh, careful with the swells. Be careful with the staccato notes that they're not too short. So uh, listen a lot before you undertake this. Of course, the technical areas start very, very slow when you begin to play this, so that the clarinet technique is very, very even and smooth, and um, gradually get faster on those technical places until you can handle them.